the special forces. That the core Al Qaeda leadership that attacked us on 9 11 has been decimated. Countless terrorist leaders, including Osama bin Laden, are gone. From South Asia to Africa, we have forged partnerships to go after Thank you, ABC News. Because of you, we are leading the global coalition against ISIL. These ter terrorists have lost about half of their territory. They are losing their leaders, towns, cities are being liberated, and I have no doubt this barbaric terrorist group will be destroyed. That's peer pressure went up just thinking about him. You've shown that when it comes to fighting terrorism, we can be strong and we can be smart. Not by letting our forces get dragged into sectarian conflicts and civil wars, but with smart, sustainable, principled partnerships. That's how we brought most of our troops home. Nearly 180,000 troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, down to 15,000 today. How, even as we've suffered terrible attacks here at home, from Boston to Orlando, no foreign terrorist organization has successfully planned and executed an attack on our homeland in these past eight years. Because of you, the world has seen the awesome reach of. He was sitting there wondering who wrote that. Why is that in my speech? Some of the first few weeks of my job, when Somali pirates took Captain Phillips. Later on, when they kidnapped Jessica Buchanan. It was you that went in. And you that risked everything. And you that brought these American home to their families. You are heroes. The world has seen your compassion. To help you oh. deliver in times of crisis from an earthquake in Haiti. Think of Ebola and the countless lives this armed forces saved in West Africa. It was you that set up the architecture and set the example for the world's response. One woman in West Africa said, We thanked God first, and then we thanked America second for caring about us. Amen. That's the difference you make. You continue to make in the lives of the people around the world. As you know well, with service comes great sacrifice. And after 15 years of war, our wounded warriors bear the scars, both seen and unseen. In my visits to their bedsides and rehab centers, I have been in awe to watching grab his walker and pull himself up and through excruciating pain take a step and then they know. We're hearing troops describe how they grappled with post-traumatic stress but summoned the strength to ask for help. As a military and as a nation, we have to keep supporting our resilient and incredibly strong wounded warriors as they learn to walk and run and heal. They find new ways to keep serving our nation. They need to know that we still need your incredible talents. You've given so much to America, and I know you have more to give. Then you have not seen the depths of true love and true patriotism until you've been to Dover. When our troops receive fallen heroes on their final journey home. Until you have grieved with our Gold Star families, given a piece of their heart to our nation, a son or a daughter, a father or mother, a husband or wife, Brother or a sister. Everyone a patriot. Every single one of these American families deserves the everlasting gratitude and support of our entire 